Hey everybody, this is just a quick update on the engine I'm working on. Um, I had completely redone my 3D file format. So I was using Asset Importer and now I'm using Tiny GLTF. And I'm only going to really support taking in GLTF 2.0 files and then getting them in my file format just because it, I was just running into too many issues with, you know, random files you grab with Asset Importer. As you can see, I've added in um, being able to generate spheres for the mesh builder, as well as I changed how the material system worked. So before the material was associated with a model and like the meshes in that model, and now a material is associated with a mesh reference. So I have a model and it's made up of mesh references. And the mesh references contain a pointer to the mesh and a pointer to the material. So that way I'm able to have two meshes with the exact same vertices, but they have different materials. I also am able to do things, let me comment this crap out, like, uh, you know, I, I just know that the material ID for this wireframe over here is one. And so I can set the color of it, the red, green, blue. So this will change it to red. And you can do stuff like that. So that's kind of kind of fun. Um, I also, you know, since I was working on my 3D file format, I can actually load in some models now. So for example, um, this is some cottage I found online. And I am using the, uh, since it's GLTF, it's all PBR. So this is, this is really the base color. And uh, I don't have any lighting, so it does look kind of strange. But I'm hoping once I go and look up how PBR works and copy and paste all of those magical functions that it'll actually look good once lighting's put in. Uh, something else is I was also working on adding in physics. So I'm using Jolt for this. Let me go down here and uncomment these and rerun it. So you see here, I have my little plane I'm showing with a bunch of triangles, and then I have the sphere drop down, and I can just spot a bunch of different ones. However, you see it's kind of weird. They just like stack on top of each other, which I don't know if if I'm like setting something up wrong because I, I just got this working or if that's intentional. But I know I can kind of mitigate this when I spawn them, if I change it to apply some kind of linear velocity. So right here after I spawn it, if I put some kind of linear velocity to shoot it off in either the X or the Z direction, uh, the Y component doesn't really seem to matter here. I can just set that back to zero. But as long as the X or Z has some kind of velocity, it seems like it fixes uh, them stacking since of course they're actually moving in a direction now. Um, and yeah, that's all I really got. I, I, I want to mess more with the physics because right now I've only really got it where I can just assign a sphere for the physics for things, which is only, you know, you can't really do too much with that. I want to add in like a character controller and generate some random terrain and be able to walk around in it in first person or whatever. I think that'd be pretty cool. But we'll see. We'll see what, what I'm able to get for the next video. But that's all I really got for this update. Thanks for watching.